<laughs> I remember my favorite part. It's when they arrived in Mongolia and the car died. <laughs> and they hooked a camel well, yeah, I remember to that. pull them. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Brie got kicked by a camel. <laughs> But didn't you guys leave and the camels stay there nicely for a while, just tied or something? It was just, yeah. <laughs> My name is Rick, by the way, and you are? Christy. Christy, pleased to meet you, Christy, and you are? Never. Never? Ever. Ever. Yes. Well, nice uh, my name is Rick, but if I'm Hi. in trouble, my name is Bob. Bob. <laughs> well, just to let you know. Barry. So Krista, Christy, 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 Christy and yeah. Eva. I just want to make sure that I keep track of people I interview, right? Okay. <laughs> Christy and Eva. <laughs> Your birth. So, Christy and Eva, what brings you to the to the women's show today? Oh, it's uh, kind of a tradition. Is it? Really? <laughs> we try to go every year that we yeah. can. So. Yeah. Every year for the last Are you related? Or? No. Well, we're sisters of the heart. Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. You what? can't tell she's an import? There's an accent. How can you not tell the accent? I just put my headphones on. I haven't oh, even okay. listened to you. <laughs> Where are you from? Slovakia. Slovakia. Yeah. You're a long yeah. way from home. Yes. This and is home now. Yeah. Oh, how long have you been here? At least 20 years. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, and you expected me to pick up an accent. <laughs> She's got <laughs> Get out of my booth. She's constantly <laughs> saying stuff like, what am I, a pork chop? Like, no, no, chop liver. Chop liver. That's what you're... <laughs> I'll get it one day. So did you just arrive at the, the women's show tonight? Or? Yeah, maybe an hour ago. Yeah. So we're just doing this. It's 7.15. You've only got 15 minutes I know, to get a fire. I know. We know. I just interviewed Mr. November. And? What does and he look like? <laughs> goes to the burn unit, right? Yeah. So what is your most, what is the place you really want to visit in, in this whole trade show? The oh, fire, fire, besides fire, the firefighters. Fire <laughs> I understand um, they got a beer garden. Yeah, maybe. It's okay. I don't so know, just come? kind of like everything in general, just, uh, well, the firefighters are big draw. They have auctions, um, all like the little jewelry and the samples and the just fun. Are you going to do the cheese thing? Is there a cheese thing? Oh, is yes, there a cheese thing? <laughs> you know what they do? We have a lot to see. They, they bring out a, a whole map. bunch of cheeses for you in cubes and then they give you a piece of paper and a pan and you get to see how what cheeses you like. It's great. Because you don't have to go down to Costco and buy, you know, $200 worth of mm. cheese and say, I hate here. this one, I like this one, I hate I'd it. be like, I like the sharp cheddar Monterey Jack. <laughs> Sound real fancy? They got a lot of stuff here. I mean, I was wandering up and down the aisles, and oh my gosh, the stuff they've got here. Stuff yeah, that you I know. Can't get, it's packed. It, you know, it's, you can't see. And there's so much holistic stuff here right now, too. We're like, another tarot reader, another energy worker. This is interesting. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. It seems like a whole industry has sprouted up almost overnight mm. with holistic. What do you think that is? Are there people searching? I think so. I think, I think people are kind of just realizing what is helpful to themselves and they're just they're liking it more so we know we're broken <laughs> you know, everybody's looking for everybody's looking for a care yeah plus women are the caretakers of the family so it makes sense that these people would set up booths down here so the women can say oh yeah yeah well we've got that i just interviewed a doctor that it does silver he heals with silver and he's a naturopath doctor he's oh, also right. a virologist Oh, and cool. yeah, he, fascinating guy. But he said you wouldn't believe the stuff that the diseases that you can yeah. prevent. Yeah, as long know. as you don't t turn blue. No, he <laughs> said the new silver. <laughs> funny you should say that because he said people don't turn blue anymore. Okay, that's good. It's a new silver. It's the way they process the silver. It's so interesting. Medical based silver, something will never turn you blue. It's good. So you've heard about those blue stories? Yeah, I've seen pictures. It's not I, pretty. I've, I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's a bad thing. Yeah. Well, it's forever. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's forever. That's it where that blue man goop came from. <laughs> yeah, maybe, blue, I don't like, know. Too much silver. <laughs> you think so? They're pretty blue. I don't <laughs> think so. No, that's, that's a different Overdose, kind of blue. You know they've overdosed. That's yeah. <laughs> so have you guys read this book? Ever has. Yes, I have. Have you? Yes. Oh, I really want to hear your opinion. How did you like about it? it? I loved it. Yeah. I picked it up here last year at the show. Uh-huh. 
um, read it, and I just got a second book that I have to read. So oh, this one. Yes. Oh, you were going to be delighted. Yeah, in yeah backpacks and bra straps. Yes. <laughs> she was so excited yeah. when she read the first one. She's like, Oh my god, it's I gotta get the, I gotta get the second one right now. Like I have to read this. You know, she's the third one, right? I'm sorry. She's That's right. Yeah. Yes, I'm following her on Facebook, and yes, she. We're going to phone her tomorrow on the live show and yes. Skype her in Aww. or whatever you can do. She's Aww. an amazing author. She and is. I just heard from Brie, her sister, that she has a B and B. If you want to go over to Holland and really? study the That's author. That's right. Yes. Oh my God, we need she to. She just <laughs> opened it up not long ago. How good yeah. is that? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That you can. Worth the trip to Holland. There's a lot. <laughs> yes. And there's a lot of people that say, Rick, I want to start writing a book, but I don't know how. Yeah. Well, I'll bet you if you went over and spent a couple of days with a B and B with Savannah, you could pick her brain. Yeah. She and writes it so nicely. Yeah, she does. So easy to read. She really does. And you know what we're doing? I'm buy it. You know what we're doing tomorrow? So what? To we're going to get a whole bunch of women to take this book, and we're going to get them to read a couple of chapters a piece. And then if we do 30 or 40 women tomorrow Saturday and Sunday, we'll turn it into an audio book form oh. where a whole bunch of women can contribute. And then we'll release it as an audio book. Oh, that's yeah, that's actually oh, a very good idea. Yeah, thank you. We just thought <laughs> instead of reading it, let's be a part of it. Yeah. Let's get dynamic. Let's get right in the trenches with her and contribute to the book. So I think a lot of women that's a really good idea. are, are going nice. to like that. So what was the favorite part of this book? Oh, the favorite part. I think when they just arrived in China, the unknown. Just the unknown. And Savannah was all quivering. She was so angry. So <laughs> so angry. I know. But now she just loves it. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's you know. not fine. They were only going to go right. for a year, and now they're going. Do you know? I was just talking to Bree, and they're they're planning another the whole family. Oh, another, another trip. trip. Latin America. Can, can we come? The whole can we come? family. Can we come? Sign us up. So we smell a fourth book coming, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So you, That's you cool. haven't read this book? No, but I'm going to buy it right oh. now. She has to. Oh. She, will she was tonight. raving about it last You're year. and remember. Yeah, so. Uh, now, yeah. do you have business cards? Pop them in there. I don't. And then when the third book comes out, we'll give you a heads up. Oh, yeah. Okay. That would be nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Girls, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. And thank, thank you for the no, testimony. Thank you. Thank you. It was one of the best books I read. Are you going to buy this right now? Now? I'm gonna buy it right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a book, woman. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> she wants to buy one, Brie. You got a sale. Christy wants to buy one. Yeah. There you go. You see how easy that is. See, folks, how easy that was. They just they come and they they sit in the booth and they interview for the booth and. <clears throat> this is a really interesting thing to do at a trade show, especially for authors that, that have released bo books. <clears throat> Sit the people down that have read the book before. Ask them, start just start talking, say, what was your favorite part? What, what was your most interesting part? What was the part that really spoke to you emotionally? What was the part that kind of ripped your heart out? And they will just, they will just sit there and they will empty their heart to you. People love to talk about their own personal experiences. So why don't we wrap that in a wonderful little interview while putting a product in people's hands. Now, as I'm sitting here in the booth, I'm kind of being the salesman and the marketing guy and the, and, and the, the radio guy, all wrapped into one, social media guy, all wrapped into one, where I want to put this book in as many people's hands because it's worth it. Look, this is a journey. This is an adventure. This is teaching in the classroom, but out in real life. Can you imagine what kind of an education young children would have when Savannah first uh, went on her first book uh, adventure? She was 14. Now, how many 14-year-olds do you know that would love a chance to travel the world? And what prevented it from happening? Well, as we just interviewed a couple of times ago, uh, fear. We were talking to a person that, uh, a woman that took her family traveling the world for one full year. She said the thing that stopped them was fear. And so when we can get rid of our fear, we can also get rid of our, our defeatism, you know? So <clears throat> there's having, there are a lot, of, a lot of fun out here with the booth. You know, the thing with, with setting up a booth in a trade show like this is you have to make it interactive, have to make it dynamic, you have to make it powerful, and you have to make it fun. You have to make it enjoyable for as many people as you can. Make them um, calm. Have a calming effect on everyone. Don't be all twitchy and jittery when you're doing the interviews. You know what? <clears throat> you know what an interview is? A really, the best interview you can possibly get is when you sit down here 
and you're just two people talking and you forget about the camera, that's a small, small little webcam. It's a Logitech 920C. And I like to look this way when I'm interviewing. And it's just, it's a connected conversation. It's heartfelt, it's passionate, it's the truth. It's coming from their heart and that's an important story for them. And they are giving this gift to us. And really it's up to us to take that gift, wrap it up. And present it in the best light we can. So I don't know what's going on over there, but we're having a lot of fun. So I just had an amazing time. And, and you know, put product, I keep telling people this at Trade Shows, put the products in your customer's hand. We've got a little chair set up there, a really beautiful little chair and a lamp and a table, so people can come in here and actually start reading one of the books. And as soon as they start reading the book, boom, they want to buy it. That's how good Savannah is. Savannah Grace, that's what a great author. That's what kind of an author she is. Super made them. I grew my boobs in China. Pick it up, 25 bucks at the trade show. She's got a second one coming up for backpacks and bra straps. Yeah, come on in. I remember my favorite part. Oh, good. Well, come on. I remember my favorite part. It's when they arrived in Mongolia and the car died. <laughs> and they hooked a camel well, yeah, I to that. pull them. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Brie got kicked by a camel. <laughs> But didn't you guys leave and the camels stay there nicely for a while, just tied or something? <laughs> the it was, cra it it was crazy because the camels, it was actually really fortunate because most of the whole day it was so blipping hot that yeah. you're just sticking to your clothes, but it was past that stage where you're so dry. Oh, like you're yeah. just so dry. <laughs> like no spit at all, no pee all day, you know, like you were sucked, <laughs> it's like a mummy, you felt like it. And then luckily that day we had clouds overhead because we could actually go out in the and on the sand and like hunt down these camels. <laughs> and we just threw a tow rope over this camel yeah. and, and, and the future's going, oh, suck, 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 and this camel's going, <laughs> we're like, uh, this is not a good <laughs> Hey. It was fun. <laughs> but you laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. Or were you just on a bus reading and laughing your ass off? I know, off? at home. I just couldn't stop. I couldn't put it down. That's I couldn't put that it down. That was one of my favorite parts, too. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. And then just go find somebody to fill the gas. Oh, yeah. We right? got to a little town, village, tiny, tiny spot. And we had to literally go, gas guy, gas That's guy, fine. where are you? And a couple of people said, oh, mm -hmm, that way. Like, <laughs> and then we got taken yeah. to his house and yelled up a story or wherever. And he came down and got in our van and then we took, took him to the little gas pump in the sand and got filled up. Yeah. But there was many times where you're hopping in the hot sand trying to push the car because it's broken down. How yeah. many times was it broken down? Many times. What, <laughs> the key got yeah. stuck in the ignition yeah. and then the, right. the tire yeah. tires got so hot because the, what was it, the, t the brake seized, yep. so they're turning bright red. And then red. it ran out of oil. Out of oil and the, yes. the underneath guard fell off. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And the fan and the conveyor belt was just annihilated, like worn down. And and Ammon had to keep reconnecting the battery like all the time. <laughs> that was, yeah, it was really wild. It's great. It builds Fun character times. though, you know, when you're out there and you have yeah. to face those challenges, it builds problem solving character. You have to get through it. Oh yeah. It's just an obstacle in the road. Right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, oh. There's some really bad toilet scenes. Oh, we're so lucky. Oh, oh. We are. Did you hear that? We're so we're very oh. lucky. Thankful. We have stories. Yeah. When you read about uh, Russia, they have like sandpaper toilet paper. It's so rough. It's like, what the heck? But they have doors. You're, you're sitting there you filing your nails with the toilet paper thinking, oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, funny guys. Did any parts make you okay. sad? Well, the part when um, Terry wouldn't reply and respond. I know. I still don't know what happened, so that's kind of heartbreaking at this point. It's so interesting Best to see friend. How. Yeah. Don't do this to me. Yeah. <laughs> don't ever <laughs> abandon me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, future recently hooked up with Savannah. And the buggy. A buggy, buggy. That's right. I'm sorry. Not, not okay, so buggy in Mongolia, you know who was the the guide yes. and the translator, yes. he went to Holland and, and visited Savannah. Savannah. Yeah. yeah. 
So it's amazing you know they're keeping it. Yes, I saw a picture of them. I'm so oh, glad. Look at her. I'm following her. I'm a total you, fan. You think, oh, I think, follow. I'm not sure we'll ever see Savannah again. Do oh, of course. You, really? Maybe, oh, yeah. Did travel over oh, there? Oh, yeah. I don't remember where he lives now, but he was in Europe fairly recently, in what Denmark or something. Really? Yeah. Perfect. Friendship that be, like that. That would be really course. neat to see, you know, them come together. Her and Future. Her and Boggy's done gotta it now. We've got to get interviews with all I the know. people that we've met from before along I know. Way. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> kidding. Either through the telephone or Skype or whatever. If we can't be there in person, we'll yeah. get them all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. go. Good I'm luck, glad you guys. came back. Thank yes. you so much. That was, was a great interview. Awesome. All these memories are thank coming you, in. Eva. Oh, thank you. Good. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> we got your email. Thanks, Christine. Stuff, right? You're welcome. Okay. Take care, y'all. I want to get your email. Oh. Um, yeah, that's right. Get get her get their emails.